Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Let's Talk About It. It's a community talk show where we focus on issues affecting our community and much more. And I'm Sheree, your host. And today we're going to be touching on a very touchy topic. Um, it's about the shooting that happened in Newtown, Connecticut at Sandy Hooks Elementary. And here we have Loretta Love, who took the time out to talk about the event that occurred, as well as give her... Um, opinions and views on how we can make our school system safe in our, in our own community. Mm -hmm. So welcome, Loretta. Thank you, thank you. So before we get started, tell um, the viewers a little bit about yourself and what company you work for. Okay. My name is Loretta Love. I am the County Coordinator and the Victims Advocate for the PD Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Assault. We work with victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse. And I'm also a guardian at Lightham, so um, my love and interest is for the children. Right. That's exactly. um, those are the ones that um that I really, you know, truly affect me, you know, right. when when I'm dealing with a lot of situations at work. Right. Right, which is another topic that definitely needs to be discussed daily right. because a lot of that is happening as well. Mm -hmm. so I'd like to thank you and commend you thank for you. being able to volunteer and work in that area where we need a lot of you know people to get out and talk about it because right, you know, a lot of right. people are silent right. and nothing won't happen if we're silent we have to talk about it right. so tell me um what do you think about the event that occurred it Which, was um i was just traumatized um just 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 traumatized i mean just oh it was just it was just awful just right. awful i mean my you know i just i couldn't imagine the terror of the parents you know getting the call not knowing you know if their children were alive you know i, I just i just couldn't imagine the right. terror of the community right girl don't get me crying already right. <laughs> it, you know it's just it's, it's a sad unfortunate event mm -hmm. you know that someone would decide to take the lives of mm -hmm. innocent people but especially the children right you know and i think it occurred where it's a young man the story goes a young mm -hmm. man killed his mother at home mm -hmm. then he went to the school Mm -hmm. And then he went into the his mother. His mother was a teacher at that school, mm -hmm. and he went into the classroom and killed the, all the students. Mm -hmm. And then he went into another classroom mm -hmm. and killed some students. And he also killed the principal and the psychologist. Exactly. And then killed himself. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. My heart goes out to all the parents mm -hmm. that affected. You know, I, I could. I couldn't. I still can't wrap my mind around. I can't either. The parents that you know, right before Christmas, they have gifts for their kids. They didn't think about. Now they gotta worry about. Um, now they gotta worry about. Um, you got be cried. Now they have to worry about funeral arrangements for their children. You know, and my heart just go out to you guys. Um, I will enclose um, the link for you guys that want to send your condolences to the parents. Let me get some tissues. It's right here. Okay. Um, condolences to the parents as well as um, if Thank any you. donations you welcome that you may have um, in support. In support for the families. And um, it's aggravating right about now because as I'm getting ready to interview you today, mm -hmm. I got a call mm -hmm. that in Florence, mm -hmm. South Carolina, mm -hmm. um, next door to my sister's house, a uh -huh. little boy is missing. Oh, goodness. and um, he's in my nephew's classroom. Mm -hmm. So my nephew's 12. He never came home from school, and so oh. the cops are over there. Okay. And also, where I'm from, Westbury, mm -hmm. at the middle school, there was a bomb scare. They found two bombs. So that evil spirit is lurking in these individuals that are letting themselves be used mm -hmm. and doing things. You have to be careful. You have to be careful what you allow your children to be around mm -hmm. and see. Like, I'm starting to let my daughter watch certain videos to let her be aware of. You know, as parents, we try to make our child be happy as possible. Wow. But we have to, because of the world we live in, let them know about all the negative things that are taking wow. place. So they be well prepared and be like, oh, I thought it was this happy world. And right. then they're up against something that is just so powerful. Than them. Right. And you have to stay prayerful. You have mm -hmm. to stay prayerful. And then also in Richfield, Connecticut today, mm -hmm. there was a copycat. They said a strange man and he was found with 47 guns on him. And that happened. 
Oh, I have not heard that yet. Okay. Um, my sister actually called and told me, and right before I interviewed you, I just Googled it. Okay. It's 20 miles from Newtown. Oh. 20 miles from Newtown. So let's get into our own uh, school system. Mm -hmm. What are some of the steps we can take in our own community to ensure the safety of our children? Well, I think one of the steps, and I had said this probably within a couple of months ago, that I think that all schools should have security. Right. I think they should have police officers. I mean, they have police officers in the middle school and the high school. Well, what's okay. different about the elementary school? Right. You know, what's different? Um, I have a six-year-old, so I'm very affected by this. And I also want to know, like, how, why is it possible that when you walk into, like if you're going to a plant or something, right. You don't just walk into Purdue. Okay. You just don't walk into Mohawk. Right. You know, the right. manufacturing plants right. that we have. Why can't we have like a guard shack or something? Right. Where in order to get to that school, you've got to go through like, or maybe do we need like a metal detector? Right. You know. Right. Bag searched. You know. Right. Right, and it's sad, and the money's there. So mm -hmm. don't don't talk about the money is, isn't there. The money is there. Right. You know, we have to get together. I think I, I also read that there were, this was a few days ago, about 25,000 and plus had already wrote a letter petition uh, to, go, to the president about mm -hmm. gun control. Mm -hmm. Because it is too easy. And you have to protect yourself, but I think that to a degree it should be screened because you don't yeah. know the state of mind that individual is in for the reason why they're going right. to purchase this weapon. Exactly. And so I totally agree with the metal detectives, mm -hmm. um, security guards, we need more. Um, there's been a couple of times last year my daughter was in the school and the side doors were opened. Mm -hmm. Anybody can walk in. Mm -hmm. So I think that first of all the side doors should be closed mm -hmm. and they shouldn't be no way of getting in once the side door is closed. Exactly. You know, um, mm -hmm. but one good thing happened um, as I went to pick my daughter up early from school, which she's here. Come side side. This is my daughter's. And what happened good today at school today? We had a shooter drill, and we we locked the door and closed our eyes, and we put our hands down, and we be quiet. And then Mr. Miles, he opened the door, but he he did so he did not, you know, mm -hmm. so. We did a great job. Really? So they went over with the kids. Um, I guess the system, if something was to happen, what would be the um, proper Good. procedure Good. Um, for the kids? So I commend you, Mr. Miles, on doing that. Good. Thank you very much. She was just eating some chicken. <laughs> so I'm trying to get that off. But, um, yeah, we definitely need it. We definitely need it, as you stated earlier, not mm -hmm. just in the high school and, and the middle school, but also for the the primary school, you know, mm -hmm. the in kindergarten, whatever school, mm -hmm. any any area where mm -hmm. kids, daycare centers, you have to. Yeah. You have to. And people yeah. are not facing the reality that we have to do this. We have to. That's we have right. to. That's right. You know, but thank you again for coming on to my show to speak about it. Um, you know, I was very angry when I got the call that that happened, you know, as a mother. I can feel, and like I said, I still can't wrap my mind around mm -mm. them actually, you know, going to, well, they wasn't going to pick up their kids. They actually got a call that it was on lockdown. Okay. So it wasn't the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I think it was more towards the morning, if I'm right. not mistaken. And so they didn't know what happened. Okay. They just heard that the school was on um, lockdown. And, um, like my talk show, the title of my talk show, let's talk about it. We have to talk about have it. Have to. We have to talk about mm -hmm. it. And not just talk about it, but do something about it. Because at the end of the day, you can talk all you want. But if nothing is being done, it's just talk. That's right. It's just talk. That's right. So thank you, Loretta. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Thank <laughs> you. And um, I want to close the link once again for anybody who wants to send condolences and help out um, the victim's family in this time. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody.